Um, last night didn't go that well. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Whew, it is hot. Um, we're currently, oh my God. <clears throat> we're currently in the middle of a heat wave. Uh, in the UK, uh, which is absolutely not going to stop me from putting the kettle on in a few minutes to make a cup of tea. Um, I'm going to be imaging the Veil Nebula tonight. Very excited about that, the Eastern Veil Nebula specifically. And let me show you a bit about my setup because I'm using a new telescope. So this is the William Optics GT71. And I bought this from First Light Optics um back at the end of may i think it was uh, maybe the beginning of june and i just haven't had a chance to use it yet for various reasons there have been clear nights of course since the end of may here um but i've been busy with work or family or things like that so i just haven't had a chance to come out and actually use this telescope just yet i've come to sit down in the shade where it's a bit cooler um but the, <laughs> this is in the sun in the morning it hasn't had the sun on it since about midday but um still feel the heat radiating off it now. So William Optics GT71, first light tonight, very excited. That is a triplet APO refractor telescope. It's a focal length of 420 mil, which is exactly the same as the Skywatcher 72ED that I've been using for a few years. And everybody who's ever watched a video on this channel will be very familiar with that telescope. So the fact that they've both got the same focal length meant that I took the really hard decision to sell the 72ED. And it was a hard decision because that's the first astrophotography telescope that I've ever used so it was a very difficult decision to sell it but I have sold it to somebody um, not too far away from here actually and I'm sure the telescope will give them as much joy as it has given me over the years. I've decided to move to a chair it's much cooler sitting here than it is against a brick wall. Hugo is currently licking my feet that's disgusting. So the Veil Nebula for those that aren't familiar is in the constellation of Cygnus. It's a great astrophotography target for this time of year particularly if you have a wide field setup because you can get the east west Veil Nebula and also Pickering's Triangle in the middle. Tonight I'm going to be focused just on the eastern Veil Nebula because that's all I'll be able to get in my field of view. I'm going to be using the GT71 as I've said my ZWO 533 MC Pro camera and also the Optolong extreme. The challenge tonight is that it's full moon and um, so that obviously causes <laughs> issues for astrophotography but uh, with the L extreme you know it has a seven nanometer bandpass at 03 and HA so the moon shouldn't be too much of an issue for the filter to deal with so I, I think that will be okay. I'm in Bortle 4 skies here so I've got pretty dark skies anyway and Astro Dark has come back in my location finally. We've had it back for about two weeks now. Um, I think I got about three and a half hours in of Astro Dark at the minute and I think I'm just going to go for three minute exposures. I'm hoping not to have any niggles with this telescope because as far as any software and things like that are concerned I'm using the same equipment um, it's the same focal length so I shouldn't in theory have any issues but in practice I think we all know that these things never go according to plan okay so they don't have to sit watching me set up all of my equipment let's hear from the sponsor of today's video Atlas VPN. But what is a VPN? A VPN virtual private network makes all of your internet traffic travel through an encrypted tunnel this way it protects you from spying, public Wi-Fi dangers and hides your IP address and your online activities. Atlas VPN does this by connecting to one of their many servers all over the world, hiding your real location from undesirables. This also means that you can stream shows on the likes of Netflix that aren't available in your country. And you don't need to worry about Atlas VPN slowing down your internet connection because Atlas VPN has servers that are optimised for streaming. I've been using Atlas VPN for a few weeks now and I've had absolutely no problems in streaming 4K shows on Netflix, Disney+, Plus, etc. And the best thing is that you can protect yourself on unlimited devices either via the desktop app on a PC or Mac or via the mobile app. And right now, Atlas VPN is offering a huge discount. It means you can get a three-year subscription with a 30-day money-back guarantee for just $1.83 a month. Time is running out, so grab your deal by clicking the link in the description down below. So you know how I do loads of videos that have tips and tricks and hopefully some useful things for beginners. And I often say that I always need to listen to my own advice and tonight could not be more true. I've spent an hour <laughs> trying to focus my new telescope, um, which is a terrible waste of time. Um, but as I said earlier, something was always going to go wrong tonight. It always does with new gear. So um, I've got it sorted now. Massive shout out to Clem over at Astro Fishing who 
um, was very, very helpful to me on messages and even let me give him a ring um, because he has a similar scope to me. So being able to talk to him was very, very useful. I don't think I would be in focus if it wasn't for you. So massive thank you. I'm now focused. <laughs> Perhaps I need to up the priority of an auto focuser on my wish list because that would have solved a lot of my issues. Um, I've just started my guiding. Uh, that seems to be going fine, I think. Um, and I'm just waiting for my first three minute exposure to come in. And apologies if you can hear some background noise. The people behind us <laughs> are having a hot tub party. Um, so it sounds like they're having a whale of a time. So just waiting for this first exposure to come in. I am beyond excited to see how this looks. It's the first time I've ever used a triplet refractor. So that is very exciting for me. Of course, a triplet will be able to focus the RGB light much better than a doublet will be able to. So I'm very interested to see how this looks, if I have one complaint from my 72ED, it's that the stars, even if um, it was properly in focus, as best as it could be with Batten off mask anyway, um, the stars would often be um, quite bloated. And I'm hoping that this won't be the case with this telescope, and we'll find out in 15 seconds. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes. That looks... Awesome. Okay. And of course, you can see the Eastern Veil Nebula in the frame there, which is great. Um, stars look really good. Um, so that's good news. Um, yeah, I'm doing three minute exposures, um, which isn't ideal with the Optolong L Extreme, actually, because of it being such a narrow band pass on uh, HA and O3. The longer the better, really, for exposures, but with it being a full moon, um, I don't know, three minutes seems better. This image is actually going to be part of a bigger project that I'm doing with my Astro Buddy Clem, who I mentioned earlier. Um, we are going to take our data from the Eastern Veil vale Nebula. We've got different setups, different um, focal lengths, but we're going to see if we can merge that data with PixInsight and see how well that turns out. So be sure to look out for that video in hopefully a few weeks time, but might be a little bit longer depending on weather, of course. Kind of feels like this recording has been a little bit all over the place. Um, sorry, we're now in the kitchen. It's the next morning. I've got my cup of tea. Um, it's got my name in it in case I forget who I am. Um, last night didn't go that well. Um, so eventually after getting focused, um, I started taking some images and it was all going really well. Um, and it came to about one o'clock ish in the morning to do a meridian flip and the flip itself went totally fine and it plate solved. And then for some reason, the rig never took another image after that. I, I don't really know why that's never happened to me before. I used to babysit my equipment, um, while doing a Meridian flip, I always looked at when a flip was going to happen and would make sure that I was with the equipment um, to one, make sure that there weren't any sort of snagged cables or anything like that, but also to make sure that it did actually carry on in imaging after the fact. But I haven't done that for about a year because I never had any issues with any Meridian flips. So when a flip is happening at two o'clock in the morning or something like that, and I can't be bothered to get up to have a look and see if it's been successful or not quite frankly and especially at the minute um, with our baby she's not been sleeping very well so I took advantage of her sleeping quite well last night and decided to skip getting up for a meridian flip in favour of some sleep. The downside of that being that I only have one hour's worth of data so far. The forecast isn't looking great for tonight. One app says it's going to be clear, one app says it's going to be totally cloudy, another app says it's going to be intermittent so anybody's guess at the minute as to what's going to happen tonight. So I will try again if possible. Um, but if not, then I will just release this video with one hour of data. I'm always happy to share my successes as well as my failures, because I think it's really important to show that we're all human and, you know, mistakes happen. This hobby is very complex. And even if you've been doing it for several years, then, you know, things will go wrong and you'll make mistakes and that's just the way this hobby goes sometimes so um, frustrating yes but on the flip side i've got a new telescope with an hour's worth of data and that happened on the first night that i took the telescope out i hadn't even tested it during the day which is another thing that i should have done and um, to make sure that i could actually focus but at least i've got an image that i'll be able to share whether that be one hour of data or whether whether that be you know five six ten hours of data then 
I'm going to share it and I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to click the link down in the description or on the pinned comment to grab three months free worth of Atlas VPN and $1.83 a month. It's an absolute bargain. Highly recommend that you go and check that out and I will see you in the next video.